Laura has just returned home in her human form after getting into a fight at the park with her rival, Rami. Laura was now relaxing on her bed, listening to her new Rush CD. Laura's brother Lance was watching Cartoon Network in his room, but he went to Laura's room to visit her. Hey Laura, I didn't mean to be so rude there Aller. Also, I thought I heard you sound like Lammy for a second, said Lance. It's okay, I was just having a lot of fun with my guitar rare Aller and somehow I sounded like Lammy after I played it for a while, said Laura, thinking quickly. Little did Laura know that Lance peeked out the door and watched Laura turn into Lammy. For an amateur, you're not bad at playing guitar at all. Keep practicing and you'll be playing in a band before you know it, said Lance. Thanks, said Laura. Lance went back in his room and continued watching Cartoon Network. After Laura's Rush CD finished playing, Laura went inside Lance's room and watched Samurai Jack with him. Later that day, Laura's parents came home with pizza for dinner. Happy birthday. Laura, said Laura's mom and dad. I also wanted to give you this, said Laura's dad, holding a black guitar case. Thanks, dad. You're the best, said Laura as she took the case and put it in her room. After Laura's family indulged in the pizza and digested it, Lance took out an ice cream cake from the freezer, complete with the members of Milkin on it. I picked out the design myself, said Lance. Thanks Lance said Laura as her family sang happy birthday to her. After enjoying the cake, Laura's family went to bed early at 9.30 p.m. A few minutes after Laura fell asleep, she woke up in a different location and her body felt strange. When Laura looked at both her hands, they were both orange and paper thin. Laura immediately realized that she had woken up in Lammy's body. What are you doing, Lemmy? The show starts in two minutes said a voice from behind the curtain. What just happened to me and why am I here? Asked Lammy. Don't you remember? We're milk can. Said the voice. That voice dot 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 that's Katie Cat. I'm part of the band. Katie and Mossan need me. Said Lammy. She quickly grabbed her guitar and walked on stage. Everyone in the crowd cheered. And Lammy saw a few familiar faces, including Parappa and Sonny Funny. Leave it to dot 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 Lammy. Said Lammy causing the crowd to cheer even louder. Milken began playing their hit song Got To Move, and Lammy had a ton of fun performing with her bandmates. However, halfway through the song, Parappa and Sonny felt shocked. Lammy, behind you! shouted Parappa. The band stopped playing their instruments and Lammy looked behind. She saw her rival Remy, who quickly grabbed Lammy by her shirt. Both the sheep's surroundings faded to black, and Katie couldn't save Lammy in time. You know, even though I'm dead, I can still haunt you in your memories and your dreams, said Remy. Let go of me. I was having a ton of fun, said Lammy as she tried to free herself, but her hands went through Remy's right hand like a ghost. Remy obeyed, but without warning, she quickly punched Lammy in the face. There was a flash of white for a split second, ending the dream. Laura quickly opened her eyes, rose from her bed and gasped trying not to scream. After a few quick breaths, Laura calmed down. Phew, it was a dream, said Laura. Laura looked at her watch and saw it was 10.30 a.m. She put on a good outfit, ate breakfast and decided to go to the playground before school started the next day. Well dot 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 here I go again on my own, said Laura, feeling nervous. She began walking to the park going down the only road she had ever known in Philadelphia. Laura eventually arrived at the playground. She sat down on a bench, watching the boys do tricks at the newly built skate park. Suddenly, Laura felt someone tap on her shoulder. When she turned around, she saw Caitlin, her new friend. Hey Laura, I didn't know you came here too, said Caitlin. Hi Caitlin, I'm just hanging out here before school starts tomorrow, said Laura. Yeah. I wish summer could last forever, said Caitlin as she sat down next to Laura. Suddenly, all the boys stopped what they were doing as a paper-thin dog came to the playground. That dog looks so familiar. I saw him in a dream I had last night. I don't remember his name though, said Laura. I know him. His name is Parappa. Also, last night I had a dream where I was in the year 3000. Not much had changed, but they lived underwater said Caitlin. You gotta do what? Asked the guys. I gotta believe. 
said Parappa. He started going down the ramp as the latest rock songs played on a nearby radio. Everyone was amazed that Parappa could stay in the air longer due to his paper-thin body. Whoa, that dog is fantastic at skateboarding, said Laura. I've seen him do this many times before you moved here, said Caitlin. At one point, Parappa came out of the skating area and licked Laura in the face. Ha, huh, I think he likes you said Caitlin. Yeah, that's what I call real puppy love, said Laura. After Parappa finished skateboarding, Laura and Caitlin followed him and hid behind a tree. Parappa hid in a bush and there was a clicking sound and a flash of white light. A human boy came out of the bush and walked home. So that dog is secretly human? Asked Laura. I didn't even know that until now, said Caitlin. If you're not doing anything today, do you want to sleep over at my house? Asked Laura. Sure, my parents don't mind. I also heard that Blockbuster is having a sale today, 50% off all of their VHS tapes, purchase and rental. We could rent a tape port too before the prices go up again, said Caitlin. Sounds good, let's go, said Laura. She and Caitlin went to Blockbuster and rented a VHS copy of Samurai Jack, the premiere movie. The girls then went to Laura's house to hang out. Nice choice. Laura, I love this show, said Caitlin as she and Laura sat on the floor in Laura's room. I've seen all of the episodes except for the first three. This should be a good movie, said Laura. Wait, I forgot to bring a change of clothes and a sleeping bag, said Caitlin. Don't worry, I have an extra sleeping bag in my closet and most of the time I sleep with my clothes on, said Laura as she pulled out two sleeping bags. The door opened. And Laura's mom came in. Hi Laura, I see you made a new friend, said Laura's mom. This is Caitlin. We met at Good Burger King two days ago. She's a very nice girl, said Laura. My mom said I can sleep over with any of my friends tonight. So I decided to stay here for the night, said Caitlin. I also see you rented a movie from Blockbuster for tonight. If you girls need snacks, I bought some birthday cake flavored ice cream. It's in the freezer. Have fun said Laura's mom. She exited Laura's room and closed the door behind her. Laura and Caitlin began their sleepover by playing Um Jammer Lammy and Dragon Ball Z. Dokai on Laura's PS2 for a while. The girls and Laura's family had spaghetti with meat sauce for dinner and the girls went back to Laura's room after they digested the food. I forgot to tell you that yesterday was my 16th birthday, said Laura. Oh, happy late birthday. What did you get? Asked Caitlin. Laura picked up her new Rush CD and guitar case and showed them to Caitlin. Laura opened the guitar case, revealing a yellow and red guitar. Oh my gosh, you have Lammy's guitar. You're so lucky, said Caitlin. I taught myself how to play it yesterday and my brother said I'm a good guitar player, said Laura. When it got dark outside, Laura inserted the Samurai Jack tape into her VCR. She and Caitlin got some snacks while the previews played. Caitlin got herself a bowl of the ice cream, flavored Katie's birthday cake, while Laura got herself a small bag of popcorn. The girls went into their sleeping bags and the movie began. After the movie ended, Laura got up to eject the tape, but she forgot to do one thing. You know what they say, be kind, please rewind, said Caitlin. Laura rewinded the tape, ejected it. Put it back in its sleeve and turned the TV off. Laura and Caitlin began to fall asleep in their sleeping bags. Good night, Laura, said Caitlin. Good night, Caitlin, said Laura. Both the girls fell asleep, and eventually they were in separate dream worlds, lost in their own thoughts. Caitlin's body began to change completely without anyone knowing, starting with blue fur covering Caitlin's body. All the hair on Caitlin's head shrunk until it was a small blonde cowlick on her forehead. Her nose shrunk into a round pink nose as her ears moved to the top of her head. Caitlin's ears slowly pointed out into a triangle shape and her eyes separated a little further from each other. Caitlin's pants slowly turned into a red and white striped design while her rush t-shirt turned into the same design as her new pants. Caitlin's new shirt shrunk revealing her now blue belly as her shoes turned blue and purple with brown on the bottom. Caitlin's entire body lost all its dimensions as it became paper thin and a thin blue cat tail slowly grew above Caitlin's butt. It was now morning, and Caitlin was now an anthro paper thin blue cat. She woke up, 
feeling strange and more energetic than before. That's strange. Why does my body feel like paper? Asked Caitlin as she looked at her blue hands. Caitlin got out of her sleeping bag and walked to the nearest mirror. Oh my gosh dot 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 I'm a cat. Said Caitlin, who saw herself as Katie Cat. At first she was shocked, but she smiled at her new self. Katie walked up to Laura's sleeping bag to wake up Laura. She quietly unzipped Laura's sleeping bag and tickled Laura's belly. Laura began laughing uncontrollably and eventually woke up. Stop, I'm very ticklish said Laura as she looked at Katie. Katie Cat, is that you? Asked Laura. Laura, it's me, Caitlin. I think the ice cream I ate changed me overnight, said Katie. Suddenly, there was a knocking on Laura's door. Both the girls looked at the door and realized school started that day. Will Laura and Caitlin admit the truth? Can Caitlin find a way to change back? Find out next time on Lammy and Katie's Crazy School Day.